Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we're here to talk about Hasbro's Marvel Legends Mojo World 4-pack. Uh, I love the X-Men. I did want a Mojo. He's not one of my favorite villains, not even in my top 20 for the X-Men. However, I do want him and don't really care about Longshot, whatever. But my issue is the price. Um, we keep talking about price lately, especially in our community. And this one is probably the toughest pill to swallow, considering what they've done here. Okay. Um, you, you, you see where it says four pack. That is my problem here. I don't see four action figures. I see four figures and a collectible. Uh, the Wolverine or whatever you want to call it, the little miniature figure is not uh, oh, slug. Wolverine slug figure is what it says. That's that's an accessory. Okay? That's not a figure. Um, and it's really kind of uh, annoying they call it a four-pack. Uh, for example, when we had the Gwen, the Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Gwen, she had a uh, Peter Porker in there, you know, uh, Spider-Pig, Spider-Ham. That was not listed as a two-pack. Same thing, a, a, a little accessory that does not move. This, to my knowledge, does not look like it moves or has any articulated joints. So that's a rough one to swallow. Because if I'm doing math right, let's say at best, Mojo's like a, a $60 figure at best, okay? 60 And that's extremely high. That's like a premium, premium figure, right? So then, are you saying the other figures are $30 each? And then you got this last little guy for about 10 or so? I, I just don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Um, long shot looks good. It's not somebody I care about, but I know a lot of people who do in the community care about long shot. Um, and then you got a dazzler who's basically the same dazzler we've gotten before, except she's got new arms and a new head and the same old accessory we've always seen. So her, her, her knees are not even pinless from the other pictures I've seen. And I could be wrong, but it looks like it's just to her arms. Okay. Uh, but it's the same Dazzler with the jacket that we had before. Then you've got this slug. So, yeah, I don't see any articulation there. How is this considered a figure? While it does look nice and there's nice paint apps, that does not quantify, in my opinion, of going to have a price of $132.99. So... For me, I will be waiting until they do a a loose mojo um, single card. Long shot, if he ever comes, he, he comes. It's it's whatever. But had they got rid of this little Wolverine figure and put Spiral in there, then that would have been a a worthy pack. To be honest with you, even if they would have got rid of Spiral or sorry, got rid of Dazzler and put Spiral in there. I could at least say, okay, well, you had to add six arms to a figure, so I can stomach that. But not this. This this is not worth it. Um, and I normally don't make videos like this, but I've I've kind of really been annoyed lately with uh, Hasbro with some of these prices. Um, and I think they're going to really push people out the line. I've, I'm buying less than I've ever bought. And it's not like I'm that's not spending the money. I'm spending it elsewhere on other lines that I feel like you get more bang for your buck. So, yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Is this not too steep? Is this just what you want? And if this and if you like it, hey, that's more power to you. Me personally, I'm I'm just not supporting this. So but I do want to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.